What is up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks so much for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this conversation. I wanted to share Dr. Jackie's response to all of the backlash that she's been getting. But before I share what she had to say in response to all of the backlash, I wanted to share Buffy's thoughts on Dr. Jackie. I I was going to do it previously, but I'm just going to go ahead and share it before I share Dr. Jackie's response to the backlash that she has been receiving. She said this herself, right? If all y'all uh, elder OBGYN uh, fans out there, you can scroll on because you done drank the Kool-Aid, the tea, the, the poison or whatever, and ain't nothing I'm going to say uh, get you to see the light of day. So you can scroll on. And this is my platform, and I can say what the hell I want because I've actually met the bitch, okay? Um, the old bitty. And I can age shame her all she want because she shamed my motherfucking uterus, okay? All right, so let's let's begin. Um, Y'all bravo, because that's who set this shit up with Kamala. Y'all should have let Simone do that interview. Y'all should have let Simone do that. Y'all should have let... I know y'all trying to save her career because I showed everybody who the hell she really is. I know, and y'all paying her all this damn money that she don't damn earn because we're her to set this season. Yeah, I'm watching the season now. It's a good season. I'm watching it. Mm -hmm. um, sweet tea, shout out to Sweet Tea. That's why I'm watching it. Um, she said... Um, y'all should have let Dr. Simone do that. First of all, Jackie don't even have no damn uh, regular black clients allegedly if you a rich black woman you can go to her ass she don't take no damn medicaid no med no no she don't take like the people they're talking about the people they're talking about about uh black mortality rates for pregnant women she don't see them damn people I bet she ain't tell Candy and the rest of them people, you don't need to be called off work during their pregnancy if they came in there with some damn problems. But the ones who ain't got a coin to pay you in cash, they need to prove without a shadow of a doubt that they're in fact in pain. And you a black doctor saying this fucking shit. Right? Why I got so much smoke? Okay, so I'm going to share something with y'all. And I shared this with the producers uh, um, and uh, uh, of Merit Medicine when I was on the show. My Aunt Dee Dee. Um, died in childbirth her daughter survived I'm so thankful her dad is going to let her spend Christmas at my house at our house this year um, January 9th is the day that my aunt died and my little cousin's birthday and my aunt went to her doctor who's a black woman and said she was having headaches and having pains and she didn't believe my aunt she didn't believe her. She didn't believe her. And I remember January 8th like it was yesterday. And there's so many things I wish that I had done differently. My aunt wasn't feeling well. We had a funeral in our family the next day. And I said, I better not see you. You better not be at that funeral. I better not hear that you went to that funeral. You need to stay in bed and rest. And she had gone to the doctor on January 8th and they sent her home and her blood pressure was through the roof. Died in child. The next morning, her husband took her to the emergency room and my aunt had a stroke. They took the baby and she died. All because her doctor thought she wasn't really in pain. Stupid shit like the elder OBGYN just said, kills people. It really does. It also puts this burden on black women that we can't be human. That we have to be sharp as iron and strong as steel all the time, even while bringing life into this world. And that's just not fair. You think if a black woman doctor thinks that, 
that folk that don't look like us don't think that? When y'all gonna call her on shit? I'm just, forget me. I know some of y'all don't like me. You don't care. You won't believe the lies they said. And I want a storyline. I didn't need a storyline. I was a friend. I was a friend. I was not full cast, even though I was full cast, because the motherfuckers saw who I am and used me for almost every goddamn episode. <laughs> I didn't need a storyline. I was supposed to show up and be cute. That was it. I was supposed to be just Simone's friend. Not the whole season. And I was. Whatever y'all want to say. It's the motherfucking facts. That this woman chose to treat me the way she did because she didn't have no motherfucking storyline. Catch. Okay. And she's an OBGYN, somebody, and forget her, HIPAA, all y'all in that HIPAA shit. You have basic human decency, supposed to. You have professional and ethical basics not to do the shit that this woman does. And heaven, I was a friend. The dentist tried to help you. She was like, I don't know who you're talking about. The dentist wasn't getting caught up in that. She's smart. Y'all don't be catching. I've always said, I don't fuck with Heavenly, but I have always said, the bitch is smart. She ain't stupid. But when you are a narcissist and you think you Jesus of Jackie or Jackie of, of, of Mar Mariella, you, you don't watch the evil that spew out your mouth. Sometimes it slip out. It slip out. It slip out. Like it slipped out when she was dealing with me, who she was very much intimidated by. Because when evil is around something you've been pretending to be nice, inherently kind like I am, it can't, it can't, it can't settle. Now I'm gonna need y'all to get y'all itself together and, and get Bravo to get her off. She did she don't need to be that y'all should have some y'all should have daughter Simone do that. I don't even mess with Simone, but Simone has an excellent bedside manner. I bet she take Medicaid. I bet she uh does not the, the dentist uh put up a fuss. When people that look like us say they're in pain while they are bringing life into work, I bet she don't have no problems with writing a letter to let women call off work so they can sit on bed rest and nurture and bring a black child into this world. That's all I'm saying. Uh, put up a fuss. When people that look like us say they're in pain while they are bringing life into work, I bet she don't have no problems with writing a letter to let women call off work. So I want to read a few comments before I get into what. Dr. Jackie's responses to all of this stuff that's come out. Someone says, I see all the people that have the best things to say about Dr. Jackie have blue checks by their names. LOL. That just basically confirms what Buffy said is and is saying. What Jackie said about Buffy being infertile and what she said about Black women being dramatic during their pregnancy is all I need to know about her as a person and practitioner. Now, Buffy, she shared a lot. And she says some things that just definitely has me questioning because I I shared a little bit of my story in my previous conversation and uh, reality chat when I talked about Dr. Jackie and then I talked about my experience with an uh, OBGYN years ago. And it is something about these practices when it's like when they're dealing with patients that take well that have Medicaid and Buffy said that she doesn't even really take patients like that now I'm not going to say she doesn't I don't know obviously but I would say she probably does but probably a smaller portion because if you look at her practice, it doesn't look like the type that takes low income patients, if you will, people who might be on Medicaid and Section 8 and, you know, and stuff like that. But a lot of times those doctors that deal with patients like that, they do tend to have a nastier disposition about themselves because they just are pissed off because the government isn't paying them what they really want and you know and, and it's it's there's a lot of limitations when it comes to the charges when you know when they're charging that insurance and you know versus private insurance or like Buffy said 
having clients that are paying cash and out of their pocket and they're rich and they're celebrities and different things like that. So you don't have to worry about getting paid. So I, you know, and I saw a lot of comments and um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get into Dr. Jackie's response. She says, recently, a clip from a nearly two-hour video was taken out of context to make it appear that I somehow take lightly what I have advocated for concerning the devastating problem facing the Black maternal health crisis. It has been my life's work to highlight and attempt to rectify the issues that devastatingly impact Black maternal mothers versus our counterparts. As a physician, I educate my patients every day to be their own best health advocate. As we continue to face medical mistreatment and gaslighting, my intention with the broader conversation was to ensure patients enter their pregnancies armed with information and tools to effectively communicate their needs with their doctors to ensure a positive outcome. The reason I became an OBGYN is because growing up, I saw such a lack of diversity amongst medical professionals and was determined to be part of the change. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow, I will continue to fight for the lives of Black mothers and babies. Dr. Jacqueline Walters. Well, that sounds extremely PR, and I wouldn't even say that a PR rep wrote that for her. That honestly sounds exactly like Dr. Jackie. Very elitist, (laughs) very prideful, not, you know, like the type of person that will give you an, well, if I offended you, I apologize. Not just apologizing, but, well, if what I said hurt you, you know, that type of apology, which isn't even really an apology, right? So a lot of people just were not feeling it. And, you know, starting out saying recently a clip from a nearly two hour video was taken out of context to make it appear that I somehow take lightly. Girl, like, no, it no one had to listen to the full two hours of that to think that you said something differently than what you said in that clip that was shared. Period. There, there's there was just no way that you could say that listening to that. Oh, well, I don't believe that's what she meant. She must have said something different and they just took it out of context. You know, when people like her say things like that, when they say, oh, well, that was taken out of context, that's a con. (laughs) You know, like that's a con to say that it was taken out of context. No, the text was exactly what you meant. And now you're trying to con people to make us believe that what you said wasn't really what you meant. You meant exactly what you said. And that's why the old saying is, say what you mean and mean what you say. And that is how she felt about it. So some people are saying, did I miss the apology for the medical racism? Another one says, if I was a patient of hers, I wouldn't be any further. Another one says, I would not recommend going to a doctor with these existing beliefs. And another person says, so basically, I said what I said and I meant it. And that's exactly what I was saying. She's not apologizing. She meant exactly what she said and she's standing on it. And she said, my name is Jacqueline, not Jackie. Y'all people don't know me. Don't be calling me Jackie. My name is Jacqueline to you, okay? Dr. Jacqueline Walters. So she's not here for the critique and the criticism. She's not apologizing. And I personally, you know, well, I get it. I was about to say I agree with Buffy with saying that, you know, if Bravo was going to set that up, which I believe they did set up. They should have had the vice president having a conversation with Simone, Dr. Simone. But I'm quite sure because one, they're sorority sisters and she probably feels that elite spirit coming from or the elite vibes 
coming from Dr. Jacqueline, where Dr. Simone, even though she is a professional, she's more down to earth than whatever. And even though there was that viral clip of um, Kamala trying to get down to um, vibrant thing at whatever thing they were at, some hip hop celebration of 50 years of hip hop and she was looking corny. (laughs) But anyway, I was like, yeah, she probably felt more in tune and more aligned with Dr. Jacqueline than she did with Dr. Simone. But Dr. Bu- Dr. I was about to say Dr. Buffy, Dr. Jackie, she is not apologizing. She's like, I said what I said, and whether you like it or not, I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing. And she's not fighting and advocating for the underserved and for, you know, those who really need it. She's advocating for those dollars. Like her practice has grown. It continues to grow. She's doing exceptionally well in business. And I don't think there's anything wrong with growing your business and doing your thing. But when you reveal thoughts like this and you're, you know, you're doing a sit down conversation with the vice president and talking about the the high mortality rate of black mothers and you being an OBGYN and then to hear your thoughts about these same women that you're having a conversation with the vice president about them, but you really don't, you, you really don't operate that way. It makes you look like a hypocrite. And that's why people are calling you on it. Nobody wants to you know, fault anyone who is successful in business and you're doing it legitimately, you're not committing any crimes, fine. But when you want to also look like you're an advocate and having a conversation with the vice president about it, and then we learn that, you know, these are your thoughts and what you said is just brought back to light and and you're not even apologizing for it in any way, then, yeah, that's why a lot of people are just like, okay, girl, we get it. So I'm just over it. She's not going to take any accountability. She's not going to apologize. And she feels how she feels. So, guys, let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Thank you so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I just wanted to keep it brief, beautiful. And now I'm going to say bye. Triggered inside the situation